Political advertisements from super PACs and candidates have been dominating the local airwaves to sway voters before the election. I'm Kyle Davey reporting for On That Street here in the Boston Common to find out what the people of Massachusetts have to say. It's almost like a sell job that you need to sell to your audience and sometimes you don't want to be sold to. It's just so clearly one-sided. You have to take the bias into account, so I'm always a little skeptical, no matter what I'm seeing, even if it's super heavy information. It's a he said, she said, and then there's a fine line, and usually you have to read between the lines. Do you believe that the negative ads achieve their purpose, or do they backfire on the I think creator? they backfire. I think for intelligent people, they backfire. The negative aspects were probably a bit too harsh, and it felt too much like a character assassination. And I just, it kind of put me off. I generally look for the ads now that are more positive to tell me what people are, have done well and what they're good at versus just listening to all each other slam each other. What 99% of the voting public do is just see the latest ad and decide that that's, you know, their belief or, you know, if someone says that, you know, that's who they're voting for. No, you have to do your homework. Which ads do you enjoy more, emotional or informational? I, I prefer informational. I'm a sucker for emotions at the end of the day, although I'd like to say information. I don't believe any of the informational, you know, um, and I don't believe the emotional. Just because someone is presenting something as a fact doesn't necessarily mean that, but, but as voters, that's our job now to look, to listen, to research a little bit on our side to, to see if what they're saying is the actual truth. Right.